What's up everyone, it's the Razored Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys some Gears of War 4 news. The Coalition and Game Informer have revealed some new concept images of the Swarm drones. Drones will probably be the most familiar of the Swarm enemy types we see in Gears of War 4, with them resembling various modified Locust soldiers. First off, we have the Amago, which appears to be the default Swarm soldier, or perhaps he is the pre-evolved form of the other Swarm variants, as he seems to have a slimy residue over his red skin from when he could have been a Juvie. For those of you who aren't aware, Juvies are a small melee based creature which could possibly be mistaken for a wretch. The difference is that Juvies are faster, harder to hit, have the ability to call in reinforcements if they scream, and could potentially evolve into a drone. Next, we have the Grenadier who, if is anything like his Locust doppelganger, could wield a Nasher and throw grenades, or perhaps have a new weapon of his own that we have not seen yet. He also appears to be wearing some type of war paint along with some rags as clothing. Here we have a look at the sniper who obviously would play the role of a sniper for the swarm army. He appears to have some sort of growth on his head with his own unique war paint. Also notice the fact he is carrying what appears to be a long shot covered in some material. Finally, we have the Hunter variant of the Swarm Drone who could perhaps be filling the role of the Theron Guard on the battlefield. I only say that due to the torque bow he's wielding, it's hard to know exactly what his role would be. Maybe he could be more aggressive than other Swarm by pushing players who sit in cover for long periods of time, but who knows. The Hunter also appears to have his own unique pattern of war paint on both of his arms. Not only does this supposed war paint look cool, but it's probably also a design choice for players to be able to tell at a glance or from a distance which which swarm enemy they're facing in both single player and multiplayer. Game Informer went on to say in their article that they weren't told why these swarm units bear such a strong resemblance to the enemies of previous Gears titles and for us to speculate why. So for today, I'll leave that up to you guys. Why do you think the swarm looks so similar to the Locust? Which of the swarm drones is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel for more Gears of War 4 content, share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.